One of the biggest complaints I see, especially from new Notion users, is that sometimes playing with all the properties, the tags, making new things, sorting your list, sometimes that can make it so you're spending so much time understanding what you need to do that you're actually getting less done. Some people say that Notion makes them less productive. And that's completely understandable. Notion has so many options, especially considered to even when I started using it two years ago to than it has now. And so it's completely understandable that you can get lost in the sauce. And some people on Reddit will post these beautiful home screens that look amazing. Even for something like bullet journaling, this is there. You can be super fancy or you can make something that's black and white and it just works. And for me, I'm the latter type of person. I don't really need the bells and whistles. I don't need it to look amazing. I need it to look good enough and something that works. And so I made a template for the exact to-do list that I use and I'm going to be giving that to you and we'll go through it really quick here. So jumping into this template also if you want to know how to go ahead and make this a template uh, you'll press the link in the description it'll be at the top of the description and so we can go to reddit here uh, and this is the notion subreddit and it has this cool guy giving a giving a free template and so if you want more templates go to that notion subreddit but as you can see here when we go to the page you'll see this duplicate button and so just sign into the notion account that you want to duplicate the page into and press that duplicate button once you get into the description. This is gonna be it. We have four views here. Uh, we have a type property, a status property, and then some date properties. So we can go ahead and add a task. And so for me, I'm a student. And so when I go to type here, usually I'll have a class in there. So it'll be say my physical electronics class. That was not a fun class, but that's what my type will be. For you, I've included work and life, uh, and you can go ahead and add whatever you need to. Maybe you have a hobby that you want to add in there, and all you got to do, like we did, press some stuff, hit enter, and it'll it'll show up there. We also have status. I made a video on that just uh, a few weeks ago. If you want to learn more about the status property, you can go there, but you can probably get a gist of what it does to do, uh, in progress, complete. A uh, must start, obviously must start. Prereq for is something we can't start unless something else gets done. For example, I record a podcast. I'll leave that in the description as well. Seriously funny podcast. But let's say I want to record the podcast. Record podcast episode 112. That's 112. That's what I'm on right now. See, that would be that would be podcast. Yeah, podcast. And so for this, this would actually be a prereq because I script my podcast. So I'd have to make another one. Script podcast EP 112. And that would be on the must start. And so for the due date, I record on Sundays. So that's over here. You can make Monday your first day if you want to. You just go into the settings up there. I'm not going to do that right now. Scripting the podcast. Obviously, the due date for that is before Sunday. And then the recommended, the rec start date is the recommended start date. So the day that you think that you should probably get a start on this task. So for me, I generally start scripting and finish scripting on Friday or Saturday. So Friday, Saturday, I'm going to recommend that I start on Saturday. And then for this one, uh, this the recording is a one day process. So that'll be a uh, recommended on Sunday and it's due on Sunday. So that's the day I'll have it done. We can add podcasts here too. And so this is kind of as simple as it looks and it'll sort by itself. The I have a sort in place that will make it so that it's sorted by the recommended uh, due start date here. So that whatever's first, it will show up first. So you'll really quickly be able to take a glance at what you need to do. And with this, we can also hop into the priority view. So priority view will let you do, see what you have to do, or we can add something in progress. So we can add task, I don't know. And then we can say complete. So I have something complete. There we go. And that'll be in the complete. However, I did a thing where if we change one of these to done, it'll disappear. Or if we hit the check marks, the little, little done box there, it's gone. Out of sight, out of mind, nothing. It just disappears. And we can go ahead and also, since that done or that complete is going to be shown or since that done will make stuff disappear, we can go to status here. Oh, not status. I lied. We're going to hit the three dots, go to the menu, hit the grouping, and we'll move that right there. What we can also do is if you don't like the to do in progress and complete, you can hit the three dots. You can go to group and you can hit status by option. 
So the, what that will do is give you the done, the held up. Held up means that you started it, but you can't finish it unless something else is done. Similar to the script and the recording, like I said earlier. And this will let you play with that. If you want to reorder these again, hit the three dots, the database menu, go to group, and then you can move this. So done will probably be at the bottom, not started, must start, prereq, held up, in progress. You can, you can play with these as you want to. Moving on to the next view, we have a board view. So it's empty here. Let's add a let's add a not started thing or let's move this over here. Not started, prereq, uh, must fit, must start, must finish. There we go. Let's add a must start here. So a podcast again. And we can go ahead and with the board view, what's really cool is you can just move the status right along. We can just, just throw these anywhere we want to. If we had another task, we could go ahead and throw that right where we want to. If you throw it into done, it'll disappear. Also, if you accidentally press done or check, it doesn't delete. It goes into this little, the last view here, which is the done view. So we can come here and uh, uncheck it. That'll bring it back or just move it out of done. So go to held up and those things will show up right again. And in this board view, we can hit the little checkbox to make it go away. Or again, we can move it to done and it's like a black hole. And now the last thing that I want to show you here to really take advantage of this template is the templates built into the template. So if we go to this new button and hit the arrow, what we'll see is life and work. And that matches the tags or the, yeah, the type that we have here. Obviously the podcast I just added in this video. So that's, that's not there yet. Uh, not yet. That's not going to be there for you. So life and work are the two types I have. And so I included some two nice templates and what this does is when you make a new thing, you can just hit new like I've been doing in this video, or we can come up here, hit the little button, hit life and say life stuff. And what happens is you can see, you can do the status from here. You can do the due date and the start date what it, and whatnot from here. If we do that, we'll see a nice small, it's really tiny, but we can see a nice little rose there. And then for work, we can say work stuff, word stuff. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, and again, we can go ahead and throw some throw some stuff in there. And what that will do is uh, it will have that little icon. And I actually use that a ton. It's really important that I can see what what's going on. So how many podcast to do's do I have? How many YouTube to do's do I have? How many school to do's do I have? And it lets me go ahead and work with that. So if you want to make a new template, because obviously you're going to have a lot more things to do than just life work and a podcast apparently uh, but what we can do is we can go to new this blue arrow again hit new template and say you want to do uh, i have a summer class right now communications and you can add an icon so i get all of my icons from flaticon.com type in communications and then i really like gradient outline and that will let me pick one of these so i could grab say this one free download it's by free pick uh remember attribute the author very important you're seeing me do that right now and then we can move on over here go to the icon upload an image or you could also go ahead and copy a link in there if you wanted and now we can change the type to communications we don't need to go anywhere fancy we can just do it from right there we can add the type change the color to green or something and you probably don't want to recommend a start date and due date for this. You want to keep that empty so you can change it and add to it whenever. Otherwise, it will always be, you know, whatever I set it. So if I set it to tomorrow, every time I make it, it won't be tomorrow. Every time I make it, it'll be July 14th, 2022. And we don't want that. Clear that with clear. And so this will make a nice student template. And that will let us hit this and then uh, quiz. And boom, there's a nice little thing. You can add the start and due date there. And then going back to the board view, we can see this super nice. It just looks way nicer and it's really quick to see what you're working, see what you're working with. And it will also, you know, we can move things around again. If you want, you can press the, the layout and we can do color columns. If, if you're into that, I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to keep it on. There, that's how you turn it off. But that right there is how to go ahead and use this template. It's super easy, super quick. And we'll talk more about uh, making those little templates and how to use them and abuse them uh, in another video, I'm sure. So anyways, until then, much love. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.